So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II and right now what's going on is Ranked Play. It was introduced with Season 1 and this season is going to be called The Placement Season. So if you go on to learn anything today, drop a like on this video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. Towards the end of this video we're going to be talking about the Bomb Voyage zombie camo coming for Twitch users. But if anything sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. But to kick things off with the little juicy game update that came after update 1.06, we're going to start with Ranked Play. And this is a PvP mode, 4v4 matches, also known as 8s, in a game mode such as Search and Destroy, Capture the Flag, and Hardpoint are the ones you're going to be seeing cycled around. things are going to happen to get your placement. You're going to play 10 placement matches to acquire your initial ranking. From that point, once you have your ranking, you will play ranked matches in order to increase your ranking and progress through tiers. Now, of the three game modes you'll be playing, Search and Destroy, Capture the Flag, and Hardpoint, there will be eSports settings enabled. Now, this is also the primary reason why most people aren't going to be playing ranked play, and it's due in part to the competitive nature that comes with the game. However, something really cool that they added in this is the placement scorecard. Now this will show your win and loss in the ranks of 1 to 10 and you will be seeing my progression here. I did take a lot of L's as I did get touched quite a lot throughout this first seasonal placement. And I got a lot to work from moving forward here if I'm going to do any good. But let me explain what this scorecard actually is, okay? If you've played Destiny, there was something in there called a trial passage that you would have to have and it works the same way where it would track your wins 0 through 9 and you'd be able to access a secret place where you'd accept a secret reward, right? And you could do this once a month. I do believe this is Call of Duty's answer to that. However, the patch notes here do state by Sledgehammer, you'll have until the end of Season 1 to play matches and be promoted through tiers before the placement season ends. Setting up your first skill-based tier placement going into Season 2. Now we don't have a set time for when Season 1 ends, however, if you do receive your first defense like you quit a game, you're seeing this on screen, temporary lock, it will be locked for 15 minutes. Your second defense will be 30 minutes and your third defense will be 45 minutes. Now I did pull my network plug because I was so pissed, but there was a game update that happened when I first launched it again and it was deployed to fix stats and placement issues moving forward. So I did deal with this and I dealt with another loss that I quit the game on and I just kept getting pounded all the way through but my teammates are partially responsible this man right here went 7 and 17 and this should not have happened okay so I'm getting partnered with straight trash it's not all my fault moving on to my eighth game I got the same map as I did my seventh game in the same game type so I was playing the same game twice I don't know how that happens but yeah, I lost two times in a row, and that's a thing. You can get the exact same situation twice in a row. But I kept losing, and losing, and it sucked. I kept getting weird errors. There was an MMR adjustment thing. Your MMR is adjustment from 1279 to 1233. I don't know what that's about. But Ranked Play features seven tiers. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Masters. And once players are in the Masters, the top 100 players by top tier points will be recognized in the pro tier at the end of the season. This year, we have exclusive helmets that will be awarded as you reach each tier that you can use permanently in ranked play and multiplayer. So as a side note here, I do have a little summary for you on what the placement season actually is. The placement season that starts is important to establish players MMR based starting tier for the Call of Duty World War II season two and beyond. It also gives the opportunity to ensure that all ranked play functionality is solid and delivers the best experience for players. Please note, initially, party functionality will not be available at the start of Season 1. That's why we're having a solo experience every time we're going in here, playing with randoms, and sometimes you can seriously get bonafide because people on your team are inactive or they just are <laughs> they're dying constantly. While the placement season is crucial to building our initial MMR player database, we will be enabling parties in ranked play soon. Now the after action report, the AAR 
green little progress that I showed you right there of 25 XP is very important. That's what you get for winning every single match after you're in your placement. So whether you got gold, silver, bronze, or anything above that, you will get 25 XP for every time that you win a match. So I'm going to also be showing you the reverse effect. Remember, you're in ranked play, so everything matters. Now if you lose, what's going to happen is you're going to be deducted 24 XP. You'll be rewarded 25 every time you win, so it is plus one where you're always being subtracted 24, okay? So you have the ability to come out ahead the more you win, but it's not in your favor right now because you have to be partnered with three other randoms and you don't have control over that. Now something else I want to note is that any extra XP that you'd normally be earning playing regular multiplayer, you're not going to be earning in ranked play. Right now, the only thing that's really counting is the statistics of your deaths, your kills, everything like that, that would count against you with your KD. So it doesn't benefit you to continue to play this if it's not your thing. Now something I think a lot of you guys might be interested in, especially if you're collecting helmets in your headquarters. So I like to wear different helmets in my headquarters, so I have quite a variety of them right now in my arsenal. Maybe you guys do too. But there's going to be a ranked play pro helmet for the top 100 players in the Masters division. Now I believe there will be a helmet if you're involved in ranked play. It might be specifically for the tier that you're going up in or that you're achieving currently. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. But what I want all of you Zombies players to know is that just place. Whatever you get, whether it's terrible, you're in bronze, you're in silver like me, and you just get just thrashed every single match, it's fine. If you rage quit like I did, you're going to get locked out and that'll happen, you know. But get 10 matches done, get your placement, because I believe that's what's going to ultimately unlock you a certain helmet. And that helmet might not be the pro version of the ranked play, but it might be a variation that everyone's going to get. And if you want to collect that, you might want to get the one that's happening in Season 1, because it might not come back. So let's talk about this new Zombies camo that's coming, okay? It does deal with the app Twitch, which is a lot like YouTube, except this is more focused on the streaming end. So Twitch is hosting a deal with Amazon. Now on Amazon, you can buy the game currently right now at the price of $37.99. Today only, which was yesterday, the deal's over. You could have saved $5 on it. But for $37.99, there is a deal if you buy Call of Duty World War II on Amazon.com. Now, there's going to be a link that you're going to have to link your Twitch account through your Activision account, and that will apply the Bomb Voyage camo. And this is all sponsored through Amazon. If you're not a Twitch Prime member, you can sign up for a free trial at TwitchPrime.com. I'll have that link down in the description box below. Be sure to check that out if you're going to make sure that you get this camo, okay? It's the only way, and this is what it looks like, the Bomb Voyage camo, and it's exclusive when you link your Twitch account to your Activision Call of Duty account. Now Twitch Prime is a new premium experience that Twitch has included with Amazon Prime. That's the only way you're going to get the exclusive deal for $37.99 on Call of Duty World War II. In the same sense, Call of Duty.com or Activision will be able to register if you're a Twitch Prime user and that's what will grant you access to the new camo. Now this does kick off December 8th with the launch of Winter Siege, the new event that's happening in December for Call of Duty World War II. So you don't have to do this and sign up for Twitch and Amazon Prime. Until then, if you're going to do this, do the free 30-day trial. It'll end, you'll have the camo, and bada boom, bada bing, we got some new juicy loot. But in the process of all this, you can work towards getting your placement, and we can get a ranked play helmet locked and loaded in HQ where we want it. Now moral of the story is that ranked play only appeals to a very small amount of people in the entirety of the Call of Duty community. That includes both multiplayer and zombies. It would appear that this is one of Sledgehammer's ways to sort of marry the way we played together, but I don't feel it's being perceived the best way that it could be from everybody. This is just not something that everybody wants to be playing. So. I just wanted to introduce it so everybody understands what this is, and this is the placement version of Season 1, so if you can, get placed, so that way you'll have the chance for better loot coming up during Winter Siege. Be sure to subscribe, I'll see you in the next one. Violent out!